Imagine waking up one day, grabbing your morning coffee, and turning on your computer only to find a message that makes your blood run cold. Your files have been encrypted. Pay $300 in Bitcoin or they will be lost forever. Sounds like a scene from a sci-fi thriller, right? Well, for thousands of people around the world, this was reality. Welcome to the story of WannaCry, the cyber attack that brought the world to its knees. It all started on a seemingly ordinary day in May 2017. People across the globe went about their daily routines, completely unaware that a cyber storm was brewing. Behind the scenes, a group of hackers had weaponized a leaked NSA exploit called Eternal Blue. They were ready to unleash a digital nightmare that would affect over 200,000 computers in 150 countries within hours. At exactly 7.44 a.m., the first signs of the attack appeared. Computers in hospitals, businesses, and government offices worldwide suddenly went dark. A menacing message popped up on the screens. Oops, your files have been encrypted. A digital ransom note demanded $300 in Bitcoin, warning victims that the amount would double if not paid within three days. And after a week, their files would be gone forever. Panic spread like wildfire. In the United Kingdom, the National Health Service, NHS, was hit hard. Doctors and nurses found themselves locked out of patient records. Surgeries were canceled, and emergency rooms turned into scenes of chaos. It was like a Hollywood blockbuster. Except this was no movie. It was real life. The attack spread with terrifying speed. WannaCry used the eternal blue exploit to worm its way through networks targeting vulnerable Windows systems. Companies like FedEx, Telefonica, and even the Russian Interior Ministry fell victim. It was a global crisis. No one was safe. Behind the chaos, a digital clock ticked down, heightening the sense of dread. Every second that passed brought the victims closer to losing their data forever, or worse, paying up and encouraging more attacks. The clock was ticking for the world to find a solution. Just when things seemed hopeless, an unlikely hero emerged. A 22-year-old cybersecurity researcher, Marcus Hutchins, known by his online alias Malware Tech, was analyzing the WannaCry code when he noticed something strange, a kill switch embedded within the malware. Acting quickly, he registered the domain name linked to the kill switch inadvertently stopping the attack spread. Hutchins became an overnight hero, celebrated worldwide for his quick thinking. But the damage was already done. WannaCry had caused billions of dollars in losses and highlighted critical vulnerabilities in global cybersecurity.